What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another layout for SketchUp tutorial for you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create enlarged details in your layout models. We're also going to talk about how you can incorporate clipping masks into that in order to create great construction documents. So before I get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I created to give a complete start to finish training for SketchUp. So uh, it's basically the equivalent of a two-day in person training so you can ask questions I help out there and we cover everything from the basics of SketchUp all the way through modeling for layout and interior design and photorealistic rendering so if that's something you're interested in checking out make sure you check out that link at the sketchupessentials.com slash course now let's go ahead and just jump into it so a couple weeks ago I made a video showing how to use clipping masks in layout to hide and show different sections of your drawings in layout and I will link to that video down below. In this video I wanted to show you how to use clipping masks to create enlarged details of a wall within layout. And so uh, to get started uh, I want to give model credit for all the models that I'm using in this video. So uh, the building that I'm using comes from the placemaker building bundle which is a series of detailed context models that comes with placemaker or it can be purchased separately. I will link to that in the notes down below. Please note that is an affiliate link. Um, the detail models are going to come from the International Masonry Institute who have a number of excellent construction detail models in the 3D warehouse. So you can check those out by searching International Masonry Institute in the 3D warehouse. And so basically what we're going to do is um, the one of the things about creating construction documents within SketchUp is um, you don't always want to model out the details. So like for example, if you take a look at this building, um, you can see that the exterior wall is basically just a extruded rectangle. So if I was to take a section cut through this building, for example, and we were to look at the way that it's drawn, you can see that all of the detail isn't necessarily drawn in here. And you don't really want to do that anyway, um, because your model will just get huge and it'll also take you forever if you were to come in here and you were to model all of these different details and how all the flashing comes together it just isn't practical to do it that way and so what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna export a 3d view of this model and then we're gonna create a view of a couple different details showing how things are constructed within layout and so SketchUp actually did a skill builder video, which I'm going to link to down below, talking about how to use clipping masks and how to do some kind of enlarged details. Um, in this case, I wanted to kind of build on top of that and show you how to do this using your base model um, and then bringing in some exterior details. So I will link to that SketchUp video down below, but then this is how you would be able to do this if you wanted to bring this in from like a separate detail model. And so there's two ways to do that as well. Um, so you can either put all of your construction details into one model like this. So if you wanted to, you could put these all off to the side. I actually don't necessarily recommend that. And neither does Nick Sonder. I'm going to link to a great video by or um, from SketchUp where they interview him and talk about his uh, workflow for creating construction documents. He creates some of the best construction documents I've ever seen um, within SketchUp. But um, he's more an advocate of taking those 3D models and keeping them separate. And so in this case, what I'm doing is I'm putting those in an actual construction details model. So I've downloaded a couple different details in here. So I have a base of wall detail as well as a top of wall detail. And what I would do in this case is I would create a 3D view of each one of these that we would then export to layout. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a 3D view of this building and I'm gonna export it to layout. So I'm just gonna find the view that I want. And in this case, I'm going to create a view where I'm kind of looking down the building and I'm trying to fit the whole building inside this um, viewport. And so in this case, we'll go ahead and we'll start off here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the axes off in this view. And then I'm just gonna go up to view, animation, and I'm gonna click add scene. And in this case, I'm just gonna click save as a new style for my style here. But basically what we've done is we've created a scene within this model that we can then export to layout. And so in this case, I'm just gonna do a file send to layout. And it's gonna tell me that I have to save my model before I do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. And so once you've saved your model, what this will do is this will open up layout and it'll open this as a viewport inside your layout drawing. And if you don't have a set of plans started, it's probably going to tell you to select a 
template. So you can either select one of these page templates, or if you have your own like I do, you can just go in and click open for that one. And so that's gonna pop up that page template and your viewport's gonna be in here. And so the first thing I'm gonna do with this viewport is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna size it so that the view that I want fits on my page. And so in this case, I'm holding the shift key in order to keep the aspect ratio of this, but I'm basically just sizing this out so that I get a large view basically of this whole wall section right here. So I wanna fit that on my page and then I'm gonna use a clipping mask in order to only show the parts of this that I want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click to set that. We're gonna do exactly the same thing I did in my other video where I'm gonna draw a rectangle over the part of this view that I wanna keep. So in this case, I'm gonna draw a rectangle to about here. And then I'm gonna hold the shift key or actually I'm gonna click on my viewport and I'm gonna hold the shift key and I'm gonna click on my rectangle. And I'm just gonna go up to edit, create clipping mask. And basically what that's gonna do is that's going to mask out all the areas covered or that aren't covered by that rectangle out of my model. So you can see how I was able to get an enlarged view of this um, into my model. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna insert a view of my different construction details. So in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is I need to create a couple views within my construction details model. And so in this case, I'm just gonna create a view that's kind of a zoomed in view of this wall. So I'm just gonna zoom in, find a view that I want. I'm gonna turn the axes off and I'm gonna create a scene. So I'm just gonna go down to view, animation, add scene. And I'll go ahead and save this as a new style. And so now I have a scene view showing this wall. And if you're doing a whole bunch of different details, you probably wanna go ahead and keep this organized in your scene section of your tray. So you can go ahead and call this top of wall or top of brick wall cap. And you'll probably wanna make these names a little bit shorter if you have a bunch of details in your model. Um, this ought to work for me for right now. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna create another view for my base of wall detail. And in this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this other detail just so it doesn't show up in my view. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll right click up here and I'll click add to create a second scene. And we'll call this bottom of brick wall detail. And then we'll go ahead and we'll save this. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these into our layout model. So I'm gonna go back into layout and I'm gonna do a file insert. So I'm gonna bring in my construction details model. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on construction details. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring in a viewport showing my wall basically. And so you can see how that brought in my bottom of brick wall detail scene. And so if I wanted this to be a view of the cap, we could come in here and we could create top of brick wall cap instead. So you can pick your different views either by coming over into your SketchUp model section or you can right click and you can go to scenes and you can pick those over here as well. And so I'm gonna start off with my top of wall brick cap model. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an enlarged detail of this. And one thing I may want to do is I may actually want to go back and adjust this so that it's actually showing the brick on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change and I'm going to update this. And then I'm going to do a file, save. And then we'll right click and we'll do an update model reference in order to update this scene because I want to show the brick on the outside and I want to show the cap as well. And so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to create a circle with no fill in our SketchUp model showing that this detail is basically showing how this top of wall is detailed out. So we've drawn a circle, we just wanna go into our fill and we just wanna click the button for fill to turn our fill off. Cause what we wanna do in this case is we actually just want this to be a circle within our model. And then over here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw a circle over the top of this detail. And then we're gonna select our circle and our detail and we're gonna do an edit create clipping mask. And so what that did is that masked out our wall 
so that only the area within the circle is showing up. And then what you can do is you can move this off to the side over here. Whoops, and if you double click, it'll remove your clipping mask. So I accidentally double clicked there. But so this will give us an enlarged view of our top of wall detail. And then now we can just use the line tool to draw a line. And in this case, one thing you're gonna notice is there's no line um, where this circle is. So just come over here and click on this circle to select it. And then just click on the button for stroke in order to turn that line on, so that perimeter right there. So you can see how basically this is showing us, okay, this is an enlarged detail of what this wall construction is gonna look like. And so we're just gonna do the same thing down below. So I'm just going to, in this case, I'm actually going to hold the control key. That's gonna turn on copy mode, and I'm just gonna click and drag a copy of this viewport down below. So in this case, you can see how what that did is that created a copy of this viewport. And I can just right click in there, and I can go to my scene and I can select the view from my bottom of brick wall detail. And so you can see how basically what that does is that now changes the scene that's shown in here. And one thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to adjust the location and size. And I'm going to tap the arrow key to kind of move that down so we're not showing our horizon up here. You could also use a style that doesn't show the horizon. But in this case, I'm just going to adjust the size so that we're only showing this portion of this view. And then I'm just gonna go back in and I'm just gonna recreate my clipping mask. So I'm just gonna select my circle and my background. I'm just gonna do an edit, create clipping mask again. And so I'm just gonna move this off to the side. And you don't have to use a circle. Like for example, in this case, this doesn't necessarily make sense to use a circle because it doesn't quite fit in the circle quite right, um, just the way that this is. And so in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna draw over top of this detail. So I'm just gonna draw basically a box. So I'm just gonna use the line tool just by tapping the L key and I'm just gonna draw a shape over top of this. And I'll just double click on my final point in order to create this whole shape. And then we're just gonna select this shape. We're gonna hold the shift key in order to select our viewport and we're just gonna create another clipping mask. So in this case, I'm gonna create a clipping mask. It's gonna allow me to show this detail down below. And in this case, you can come in here and you can turn the stroke off because you don't necessarily need your stroke on this one. And so probably in this case, we'll just create a circle again. I think that's a good indicator. And I'm just gonna select this and I'm gonna turn the fill off and I'm gonna turn the stroke on. So just by clicking on these little boxes over here. And then we'll just do the same thing where we draw a line. So we'll just do the same thing where we draw a line over to this detail. Just like this. And so. Based on this, you can use this to create enlarged construction details of the way that things are constructed in 3D without having to actually go in and model and detail that out within your actual building. And remember, when you're modeling for layout, modeling for construction documents, the goal is to model, um, I don't wanna say as little as possible, but you don't wanna duplicate effort. Like it wouldn't make sense to come in here and model these walls in detail when you can do something like this instead. So that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Do you do different things with your construction documents? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every Every week. Um, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.